So the list of sports bikes punting out more than 200 horsepower is getting pretty long these days. Most manufacturers have got something to offer. And if you've ever ridden one of those bikes, you'll appreciate just how exciting they can be. Well, if you really want to feel the wind in your hair, you want to try a 200 horsepower naked bike, and in particular, this beast, the supercharged Kawasaki ZH2. So last year I rode the H2 SX, which is the sports touring version of this. Uh, and the acceleration was so incredible, it made my legs wobbly. Well, this thing is absolutely next level. Look fun there, how much of a beast this thing is. One thing Kawasaki have said about this bike is that they've designed it to be rideable by a whole different range of people. Well, what I can say about that is if you ride this thing in anything other than raid mode, you better have a bloody good idea of what's going on because you can get yourself in some serious trouble with this thing. like a lunatic, what else is it good at? Well, I've been on this for about four hours today and I've got a couple more to go, I think. I've been really impressed. On the freeway, it's really comfortable, actually. Really roomy riding position. Cruise control is excellent. You just hit one button and you're done. There's also a lot less wind blast than you might expect. Seems all that bulky bodywork up the front there does a pretty good job of pushing the air around you. The handle is okay as long as there aren't too many bumps involved. I don't really know this road very well, so I'm being a bit cautious. I'm doing a bit of slow in, fast out. The Brembo monitor box up the front, they've got plenty of power, tons of feel at the lever, and of course that engine just blasts you out of the corners. Suspension wise, you've got the Showa, big piston fork, fully adjustable, uh, which is a really good fork, I really like that. Unfortunately, it's mated to a rear shock, which is just too soft for me. And getting the C-span on the preload adjuster is just about impossible. Feel free to have a go, but wish your knuckles the best of luck. So, if you want a unique and frankly mental naked bike, gunsling a leg over one of these things. But if you end up owning one, I would suggest you have a penny jar with tires written on the side and I'll be sticking fibers in it every time I went past. You've put me right off, bird. <laughs> <laughs>